Hello, this is Sonia from my Happy Spice. Welcome back at my channel. Today I've got something very special here. I've got the newest release of Ella Roots. Um, she's got the Etsy shop and her printables is called the Letters, Love Letters to God. And this is sort of a little mini devotion, um, which is sort of 12 little prompts and things like that. It um, encourages us to write a love letter to the Lord, pour out our heart to the Lord. And then there's various verses that gives you a sort of a kickstart um, to start with this. It is absolutely an adorable kit. I was so, so excited when I saw it. Look at this absolutely stunning vintage printables. Um, this is up my alley. Um, as you know, guys, I love um, vintage print, pink and light blues. And I even like these um, interesting sort of yellow and the black combination. It works so, so nicely together. And it's obviously there's various cute little printables. There's three by four um, journaling cards. I just love that one on the right with all the little stamps. Some of it you can do five text cards also, but I've decided this is just too pretty. I, I need to use everything um, from it. And here is also some prayer cards because obviously the idea is that you write your little letters to the Lord and your little prompts. And then so she's got these beautiful offer uh, letters um, and little word fetty, which work perfectly with the kit also. And then she also got something very nice. Um, this templates of envelopes little envelopes you can make so you've got your folded lines and then where the little dotted lines is there you need to fold and the solid black lines is where you need to cut out so it's very easy to follow instructions and then she's got these absolutely gorgeous printables um, um paper printables i love this heart this little wonky Polka dots is absolutely beautiful. I love, love that blue. That's probably my favorite paper. And then um, it's got this interesting yellow one also. And then um, this is also sort of journaling spot. Or you can use it as faith text cards, whatever you want to do. So this is the printable. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's getting released. On the, it was released yesterday. So please pop over to our Etsy shop and go and get it. So what I've decided, I'm going to do a little ringlet mini booklet, but I'm going to give it a spine. Now, I've just used card stock or heart, I'm sort of packaging from an envelope and I've cut it in various sizes the two um, sizes under various size um, is um, 4.5 inches by 6.5 inches and the middle one is 1.75 by um, 6 by 5 but I will pop the dimensions in the bottom in the description so you can have it if you want to make it and then you just pop these ring binders in and then you've got this little booklet so what you do first is you, um, I'm going to put washi tape with, with, it, with washi tape, but you need to put it together and you need to really leave a small little space so you, your flaps can just lift up easily. But you can use just washi tape, but what I've done is I've also put some um, double-sided tape just to make it more secure. And then I'm just putting this beautiful washi tape, which work the best with this printables. I don't have, I've got loads of washi tape, but... Um, yeah, not as pretty and good quality um, as you can get, so I need to go with what I have. So I've decided to go with this beautiful pink flowery ones. So I'm just putting it together. And now I'm going to do exactly the same on that side. I'm just, just going to secure it, put it on top of each other. Um, so you can put more double-sided tape there also if you like, but I thought the one side is enough. I mean, um, this yeah, I mean, this booklet is not going to be um, used every day. It's a devotion I'm going to do, and I'm going to put it lovely on my little display. I've got a display with all my little mini booklets and devotionals in my craft room. So, yeah, I will obviously go through it um, maybe in a few years' time again, but it's not going to be, it's not like a photo album that people's going to flick through it the whole time. So you can obviously make it as secure as you want or um, as flimsy as you want. So as I said, I'm just making, and also I forgot to say that I've hole punts, also six holes, as you can see, sort of two at the top, two in the middle, and two at the bottom. It doesn't really matter um, where it is, but I would obviously advise you not to do it too to the edges ets, of the spine, um, because obviously it needs to be secure. If you put it towards the end of the spine, it might um, not hold up. 
So I'm just repunting my holes because obviously I've got the washi tape over there. You probably don't need to do it because if you after you put all your washi tape over the holes, you can lift it up into the sky or into the light and you will see this. I mean, it will have a reflection or it will, the, the light will shine through it so you will actually know where to put your hole punches in. Now the middle hole, hole punches, unfortunately, obviously you can't get now to it. So I just used a little craft knife and I just punched it through to get rid of the washi tape so that was very easy and obviously it works when you put your first original hole punches in before you put the spine um, next to the flaps in the beginning so yeah just a tip for you to do it before don't put your little booklet together and then you want to try to put your holes in you will be able to do it at the top but you won't be able to do it in the middle I hope that makes sense so as you know I've seen I've done quite a lot of layers of washi tape just to secure it and to give it a little pretty spine and then I'm going to um, put the holes through it again and I'm not showing you um, the holes that I punch in the middle but yeah obviously just I, I nearly forgot about it afterwards I realized oh my goodness I still need to put um use a little craft knife to punch the holes in through there now what I've done is I've um, decorated a little cover what I've, I've just measured the insides and the top of craft paper and I've just basically stick it with glue on or I, I think I've did some double-sided type also. So here I'm just showing you my various elements which I'm going to use in this booklet. Obviously I've used a pattern paper and I made these beautiful cute little envelopes um, according to the pattern and I'm just showing you obviously how it's going to work and this is obviously the purpose for it is to tuck in some journaling cards with it. So all these things is going to come into my little ring binder. I'll show you some more examples now. So what I've done is I've just done bases. Um, I've just also measure it a little bit smaller than the inside and the outside of, of the flaps just make sure that it's big enough to go into the free um, ring binders and I've just done bases to start with and now I'm, I'm showing you various little pockets I'm going to do um, I'm going to put in these pages or on top of these pages so I can tuck little the tags and um, some journaling cards in here I'm just showing you I've made some tags also using all the beautiful um, papers and I'm just showing you an example of what I'm going to do here's a little corner pocket which you can tuck a little tag in there and obviously I'm going to journal on the tags and decorate it um, this is a bit of a bigger pocket which I've made I've just sort of measured it I've put it on top of the base and just saw more or less how I want the pocket to be. And then I just trace it with pencil. So this is a bigger pocket, which you can also obviously put a little tag in. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to decorate it with various things like doilies, as you can see there. And obviously the beautiful printables. Now this, the little devotion or the prompts, I'm just going to sort of put in the middle, in the middle ring binder, just to have a, a place to start off with some of them I'm going to stick on the bases but yeah I'm going to put it all together and then I'm going to give you a flip through okay here is the flip through I'm so happy I've made a little I used some of the printables and I've uh, that little polka dot thingy was in my stash so I just made um something to hang up there and I think it's lots of fun so this is the end result so I've started with off just to say little um little hello um, word fetty and love letters to God and I've started with just going through the prompts and working through the prompts over the last two days and it was very nice doing it just writing my heart out to the Lord thanking him for, for what he's done and now the first prompt is in Psalm 3 and it's just um yeah it's just that we mustn't focus on our problems we must direct our problems back to God and focus in him that classic um, hymn that says that fix your eyes on Jesus and the things of this world will slow um, grow slowly dim and that's why I said look to Jesus I've just done my journaling on there and I'm just showing you the prompts and yeah and I love this little tab is also at the top the next one is um obviously um the um, Jesus is close to the broken hearted and you can just write him a letter pour out your your love for him, your adoration for him, and this is what I've done in those two various cards on the left and right. I just sort of continue, and I just love this little three by four journaling card. It's absolutely my favorite. This is one of the little envelopes, which I just use a little clippy there to, to put it on, and this prompt was, let me just think, um, it's just continue writing a letter to praise him. So I've just 
look at Psalm 103, which was actually my devotion for the morning. And I actually just went through it and I've listed all the wonderful things that God has done for us, forgiven us, heal us, um, redeemed us, all those things. And the next prompt was, let me just see, is, yeah, just continue praising God. So I'm just continuing praising Him because He is worthy to be praised. Um, and yeah, I just love that page. That's one of my favorite pages, yeah. And the next one is how mighty God is, that He, all the great things He's done, His name is holy. So I just continue journaling, I need that He's worthy to be praised and that His name is holy and pure and things like that. Um, and the next prompt was, um, let me see, that um, we shouldn't be frightened and dismayed. The Lord is with us always. And I've just journaled from Psalm 1 to 39 that we can go nowhere um, without um, God seeing us. Even our darkest hour, our darkest need, God is there also. And as, as you can see, this is the second little envelope that I'm using. And I've just actually made a little tuck stop at the tuck spot at the back of the envelope. And I was just continuing um, journaling also there. Um, so I just tried to make it as interactive as possible. Um, just to make it fun, and the last one is just, I just said that um, I love the Lord, and that He draws us to His, and His love is, um, yeah, His love never runs out. We never have to worry that God is going to get tired of us, that He feels, oh my goodness, I have to deal with her again today. He is always standing with open arms, welcoming us, uh, welcoming us, especially if we, yeah, if we uh, uh, repent of our sins, he's always willing to welcome us back. So yeah, this is my little love letter ring binder notebook I've used with these printables. I really would encourage you, if you never bought anything from Ella Roots, go and get something. I'm just showing you actually here now, this is actually the only printables I had left of that whole devotion so I'm just very very happy that I use so so many of it those little cards was just unfortunately duplicates I've printed so yeah as I want to continue if you have never bought anything from Ella Roots this is the kit for you it's beautiful I think she's so um so talented and she's a South African um artist and yeah just support her. she's got an Etsy shop she's got a website I will link everything down below yeah, just go and support her, write a love letter to the Lord, write your heart out. It was a really wonderful experience. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like. Let me know what you think of this beautiful printables. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really con um, like it if you consider to do so. So you must have a fantastic day and um, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.